I compiled Sarah Palin's enemies list. I was working on a column uh, calling her America's full-time professional duelist. So I wrote down all the names and organizations of people she's feuded with in the past 30 months since she was tapped to be John McCain's running mate. All I did was type Sarah Palin slams into Google and immediately dozens of names popped up. She's clearly monetized mudslinging. It's what she's known for. When I first posted it, there were 45 names, which seemed like a lot. I mean, have Bill O'Reilly and Rush Limbaugh, their entire careers, had that many flame wars? Quantifying the perpetual Sarah Palin feud became an instant internet curiosity. I've gotten hundreds of emails. People started lobbying to have other people put on the list. They wanted Shakespeare to be put on the list. They thought it would only be right if Reagan was added. They requested a posthumous list, a volunteer list, a pre-VP feud list. Whoa. I was just trying to make the point that she fights a lot. However, Reagan, JFK, and Shakespeare all now have honorable mentions. Others have been added, and as of this filming, there are 70 entries. 70 and counting, uh, which means that in the last two and a half years, Palin has fought with, on average, over two people, two different people, each and every month. The common denominator in all these feuds? Sarah Palin. Now, her supporters will say that she's just defending herself. She starts a lot of these. A lot of these. Look, if there's a list, there's clearly a pattern. But if there's 70 on that list, that's a complex. Yeah, that's a lot.